guys, Tutorials for OS X here. I'm just going to be a quick tutorial on how to um, make any image transparent in Photoshop. So, very, very simple, uh, very quick tutorial here. You see I have a picture on my desktop here um, of a dollar sign that is not transparent. It has that white background. So if you wanted to use this for like a logo or something, um, and you wanted to get the white off the background, this would be a good uh, tutorial to look at. So. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Photoshop by dragging it to its icon. It opens it up here. Um, so I am going to uh, take my magic eraser tool, which you can do by right clicking on this little um, icon right here, right clicking and selecting magic eraser tool. And all you're going to do is click on the background and you see um, it goes checkerboard. Um, so um, it takes all the white away, so now it is now transparent. The checkerboard means it has no background. You can also click in between these little spaces right here. Make sure you get all white right there. Okay, so um, I just made it transparent. Um, I could go ahead and save this file as a JPEG. Doesn't seem like that's our option. Then we'll just do save as as a copy JPEG and to desktop okay and quit Photoshop and here's our old image with the white background and it still looks the same down here but here's our new image but you can't see the um, the transparent background but let me see if I can find an example if you put this um, if you put this on any logo or anything it would be transparent uh, it wouldn't have a uh, white background like this one would, and you could do this with this will work with any any image. Uh, in the c max quick look, it doesn't show you it just because its display is it white. But you saw when we were in Photoshop that it showed the checkered background. That means it's transparent. That means it has no background. Um, usually the default background is white, which is why it looks exactly the same in both pictures. But I can assure you that this one has a set white background, and this one has a transparent set white background. So. Um, this is very, very helpful to me in using icons and stuff, and I'm sure it'll be very helpful to you if you're uh, into this kind of stuff or making an icon or a website or building some kind of thing where you use icons or pictures in it. Um, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe, you guys, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.